BC could be the province to watch as Canada's federal party leaders all eye crucial seats locked in a unique three way battle. Political experts say BC was one of two provinces that likely prompted the decision to call the snap election in the first place, with key ridings like Vancouver Granville, where I am right now, up for grabs. Of course, Justin Trudeau called this election last month because he wanted to get a majority government. He was about 15 seats uh, short of that, and I think his calculations were that he would pick up upwards of 10 seats in Quebec and maybe five seats in BC, and that would put him over the magic number of 170. One of those seats party leaders are eyeing is Vancouver Granville, which favored the Liberals up until the last election. That was when Jody Wilson Raybould, a formal Liberal cabinet minister, was re elected as an independent MP in the 2019 federal election, following her expulsion from the Liberal caucus amid the SNC Lavalin scandal. Wilson Raybould's re election, a historic one as she became the first ever woman to be elected as an independent member to the Canadian Parliament, but now with Wilson and Raybould not running again, it could be anyone's race. The prominent riding was in headlines again recently after it was discovered the Liberal candidate had made millions flipping homes, a practice the Liberal Party promised to tackle if re-elected in 2021. News 1130 and City News broke the story about Liberal candidate Talib Nur Mohammed selling at least 21 homes within a year of buying them since 2005. Opposing Nur Mohammed is NDP's Anjali Apaduri and Conservative Kaylin Shi. There's also MTS Puppet from the Green Party and Damien Jewett representing the People's Party of Canada. You would think if it was just a uh, 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 a Wilson Raybould specific phenomenon, the vote in 2019, they may go back to the Liberal fold. But if, if folks really were kind of tired of the Liberals and, and she was a, a convenient way to, to make that displeasure known, then we would look to see perhaps the Conservatives win that seat or perhaps the, the NDP come up and, and make some noise there as well. Press also points out another key riding to watch is Port Moody Coquitlam, where Conservative Nellie Shin beat NDP's Bonita Zarillo by just 153 votes in 2019. That, by the way, was one of the top 10 closest races in the last federal election. The Port Moody Coquitlam is one of the rare ridings where it's a, it's a true three-way race, I think, given how well all three parties uh, performed in the last election. There are a few more BC ridings to keep a close eye on this pandemic election, and most political scientists believe our province could ultimately play a major role as to whether Justin Trudeau will regret his decision to call this snap election in the first place. So BC were very critical to his calculations. Of course, the election campaign has not gone as he thought it would. And I think BC is, is really setting up to play a spoiler role, just as it gave him his first majority government in 2015. Uh, BC may deny him a majority government this time around. In Vancouver, Ashley Burr, City News.